You're sick, aren't you? What is it? Hodgkins? I'm fine, okay? Just leave me alone. Sarah, don't lie to me. Leukemia. You haven't told anyone, have you? How could you possibly want to go through this alone? No, I really don't want to go into this right now. You have to tell your parents. I'm going in. If you don't tell your mother, I will. You have no right to do that. But I will. Fine, I'll tell her right now. Or property values will go up. Sir, you doing? I just um, I have to go home. You're going home now? Yeah. Can you not wait? Just wait for a minute. Just to stop, stop it. Stop. Don't touch me. Dad. Excuse me. Rain? Hello, Phil. Howard came by a couple days ago. He already talked to Sarah. Sarah! Sarah! Where are you going? There's a house full of people. I told you I would take care of it. Take care of what? Rain, what are you doing here? Please. Please, there's no way to express how sorry we are for what happened. But please, Lorraine, this is Sarah's day. I'm sorry. I just can't stand by and watch you go through what I did. What is she talking about? What, what is going on here? Just listen to your daughter. I'm so excited about Northwestern. I just, I couldn't. Well, um, I just got off the phone with Dr. Gordon. Seems a very nice, nice, nice man. Yeah. And he said, you have a great chance of beating this thing, sweetheart. But we have to get to Chicago and start treatment so as soon as possible. Get us on an early train. I need to go outside and get some air. OK, sweetie, but don't go too far. Don't go too far, because we, I need to still call the oncologist Mom, please and set up all the stop. appointments. Sarah, what's your problem? Dan, please, it's all right. Look. No, no, we want you to get better. Isn't that what you want? Well, we do. Come on now. You're the one who came home, Sarah. You're the one who came home. And maybe you didn't know why at the time, but I think you wanted our help. You deserve them. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, sweetheart, how have we gotten here? I thought things were getting better. They weren't. Sweetheart, this is my fault. I, I didn't want to see how badly you've been hurting. It's not, don't, don't feel guilty, okay? It's not your fault. I ignored it, and I'm sorry. So sorry. And tomorrow we're going to Chicago, all of us. Yes. Okay, we'll see, all right? We'll see. Sarah, Sarah, you deserve to be well. Are you okay? Jennifer would have been seven last week. I keep trying to picture what she would look like now. When you look at someone's baby picture, it's so easy to see the person they became. But if you don't have the older point of reference, I try to see myself at seven, tall, 
skinny, missing teeth. <laughs> In summer, mom couldn't get shoes on me except on Sundays. And I imagine her growing up, high school, college, her wedding. Please, don't. Oh no, no, it's okay. It's not so sad anymore. I've been picturing her as you, how you were that night. Trying to be so grown up. You're not to blame, Sarah. You never were. Psst. Psst. 